Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the code for for set problem. Okay, so this is a bucket game. So in this bucket, we are given n buckets, and I take it contains AI walls initially. So Alice and Bob decided to play a game with following rules. Both players take turns with Alice going first. If there are no walls left, the game ends. Okay. <coughs> So in his or her turn, the player will become a wall, uh, remove a wall from any bucket which contains at least one wall. Okay. If after the move, the bucket from which the wall is removed becomes empty, the player gets the point. Okay, right. So if both players play optimally, find player who will get more points. If both get the same points, will drop. Okay. So this is a simple straightforward question. So in the first case, if you see, we are having two, two, and two, right. So Alice going first. If Alice going first, Alice can pick one wall from here. So Bob can pick one wall from here, and Bob wins. Similarly for this, Alice uh, take the one wall, and then Bob take the another wall. Again Bob, and in the same case here also. So Bob is winning here, right? That means that's why Bob is winning this game. So let's see in this case, second case. In the second case, three, four, six, and four. Right. So what is possible? Like this is odd, right? So what Alice can do? Alice can pick this wall from here. Right. So it begins two. Now, if it remains, it remains two. Then, like, who is going to pick this wall from here? We're gonna lose, right? That's the simple scenario, right? So, what we can do? Like, two is the base case. Two is the base case. That means if we remove two from everything, okay. So, what will be there? It will be like one, um, then two, four, and four, right? And again, we have two here, two here, two here, and two here. Okay. So, like, let's take the sum of this after removing these two. What is that? It is nine, right? So that means if anyone starts here. In this case, if anyone uh, take the ball from this and this, so and go on, like just go on. So what will be the end? Like Alice going first. So Alice and second even ball will be Bob, right? So at the end, the last ball will be picked by Alice because it is odd, right? Now Bob has the turn. So now you can see, like, if there are two walls remaining, Bob has to pick first. If Bob picks first, Alice wins. Bob picks first, Alice wins. Bob picks first, Alice wins. So Alice can win all the walls here. So answer is Alice, obviously. This is the approach for this solving this problem. How we are doing that? Like, just understand this. So if we have three, four, six, four, that means we will keep two as a separate line. That is the base case, right? And remaining, we can pick one wall from here, one wall from here. So what does what does that mean? It means who is the person who is trying uh, start picking balls from this remaining stack? If it is obviously, if it is odd, right? If it is odd, then Bob has to start because Alice will pick the last one. So if Bob starts, Alice will win definitely. If it is even, suppose in this case, not here 4, it is 3 and it is even. And if it is even, that means like Bob picked the last wall, 8th wall, and Alice has to pick the first wall here. If Alice picked the first wall here, then obviously Bob will win in all cases. So this is the simple state forward for this. So let's see code for this problem. So 
so let's see the code what we need to do we need to take the input so sorry declare the vector okay then you need to declare three variables one count two count and the sum variable that is like calculating the remaining count okay so we need to take the input like this and if it is one we need to take consider that why we can consider that like if one is there anyone can pick and like directly can win the game right so that's why so if there are so many uh, ones we'll count that and we will do the two count two count basically we are extracting like if there are more than two walls we are extracting it right and otherwise we'll add this i minus two because one we are already considering and if it is two so it will be two right so it will not negate right <clears throat> so what we can do like this is not required wait a minute sorry guys so what we need to do like alice can alice can take the like if there are suppose five one walls right if there are five one count so alice can get the three that's why i'm taking the seal value bob can only get two right what you get is the catch like if it is odd if it is odd then bob has the chance to take take from like uh if it is odd, Alice has to pick the last wall from here, right? Then Bob has the chance to win the remaining two thing. That's why I have added this thing. If it is odd, sum. Otherwise, Alice will win, right? Similarly, if this is not the case, like if one is of even count, that means like the last person will be Bob, obviously. So. Uh, Alice has the chance, right? If this is odd sum, if sum is odd, the remaining number of balls, that means Alice has the chance. So Alice will get the number of tools, the all the remaining values, and Bob will be get this much. If that is not the case, so at the end, if Alice is greater than Bob, Alice is the answer. Bob is greater than Alice. Bob is the answer. Otherwise, it's draw, right? Hope you understood this solution. Like this video, subscribe the channel. Thank you and keep coding.